Now we'd like to ask and invite Nathan J. Duck, if he would please come up. And uh, we're going to share in Nathan's baptism today. If there are any family or friends that would like to come and feel like you can stand up here and get up the steps, uh, we feel, feel free to do that. If not, it's okay. All right. And uh, I want to let you know that uh, we shared a little bit of Nathan's story a couple of weeks ago. Uh, he and uh, Linda uh, came to our Pizza with the Pastors evening. And um, Nathan has come to the point and place where he wants to make that public profession of faith and uh, be baptized. And so we look forward to sharing this special time there. So, Linda, can you, you can stand right there if you like. That way you're close, okay? I know you want to represent today. Yeah. Grandma's been taking good care of you, hasn't she? Yeah. Absolutely. So, so, brothers and sisters in Christ, it's through the sacrament of baptism that we are initiated into Christ's holy church. We're incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation, and we're given new birth through water and the Spirit. All this is God's gift, and it's offered to each of us without price. So, we are glad today to present Nathan J. Duck to join our church family by baptism and reaffirmation of faith. So, Nathan, on behalf of the whole church, we ask you, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? If so, answer, I do. I do. And you accept the freedom and the power that God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? If so, answer, I do. I do. And do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in His grace, and promise to serve Him as your Lord in union with the church, which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races? If so, answer, I do. I do. And now do you, as Christ's body of the church here at Altersgate, reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? We do. Will you nurture one another in the Christian faith and life and include Nathan now before you in your care? With, With God's, God's help, we will proclaim the good, the good news and live according to the example of Christ. We will surround Nathan with the community of love and forgiveness that he may grow in his trust of God and be found faithful in his service to others. We will pray for him that he may be a true disciple who walks in the way that leads to life. Nathan, as we share in your baptism today, and Nathan has uh, requested that we uh, do, he wanted to be immersed. I said, but we don't have a baptismal font here in the, uh, in the Methodist church, so we're going to do the next best thing, which is the pour, okay? So he requested that. We are reminded, um, Nathan, in the Bible, of the story of uh, Noah and his family going through the flood and coming out the other side and how God uh, provided for them and cared for them in the time ahead as he made covenant to be their God. We know also that Jesus came to uh, John the Baptist there, and it should have been probably Jesus baptizing John, right? But Jesus said to his cousin John, no, you baptize me. John said, behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. When he came up out of the water, there was a voice that everybody heard from heaven, God saying, this is my son whom I love. And that's the same words I believe everybody hears or I hope hears when we receive this gift of baptism, this sacrament, to know that we are each a child of God and God loves us dearly. Jesus encouraged us now to go and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So that's the place we've come to today. God, we ask that you would bless this gift of water. Most importantly, Lord, that you would bless Nathan J. Duck, who is now to receive this gift of baptism. We praise you and give you thanks, and may your Holy Spirit be with us. In Christ's name, amen. Nathan, if you'll kneel right there in the middle. Right in here. Kneel, kneel, just kneel right there. Put your knees right there. Okay, if you lean over. Nathan J. Duck, we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And all God's people said, Amen, amen and Amen. God be with you. Watch over you, Nathan. Keep you in his loving care. Woo! Amen. <laughs> We're going to have you join the church now. I, you know, I think uh, you, we already did this next part. Now it is our joy to welcome our new brother in Christ. 
Amen. And let us respond. Through baptism, you are incorporated by the Holy Spirit into God's new creation and made to share in Christ's royal priesthood. We are all one in Christ Jesus. With joy and thanksgiving, we welcome you as a member of the family of Christ. With joy and thanksgiving, we welcome you as a member of the family of Christ. Nathan, the Holy Spirit work within you that being born of water and the Spirit, you may be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And now we move to the membership questions. So we ask you, Nathan, as a member of Christ Universal Church, will you be loyal to Christ through the United Methodist Church and do all in your power to strengthen its ministries? If so, say, I will. I do. As members of this congregation, Aldersgate United Methodist Church, will you faithfully participate in its ministries by your prayers, your presence, your gifts, your service, and your witness? I will. I do. Amen. Members of the household of God, we commend Nathan to your love and care. Do all in your power to increase his faith, confirm his hope, and perfect him in love. We, we give, give thanks, thanks for all, all that God, God has already given, given you, and we Christian welcome you in Christian love. As, as members together with you in the body of Christ, and in, in this congregation of the United Methodist Church, we renew our covenant faithfully to participate in the ministries of the church by our prayers, our presence, our gifts, our service, and our witness, that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. Nathan, if you'll kneel again, Paul, if you'll step up. Nathan, the God of all grace, who has called us to eternal glory in Christ, establish you and strengthen you by the power of the Holy Spirit, that you may live in grace and peace. And we ask Paul, our lay leader now, to offer a blessing. Dear Heavenly Father, as we stand here uh, looking at this wonderful sacrament of baptism for Nathan and also joining the uh, congregation here, Lord, we just continue to ask you that you'll wrap your loving arms around him. And we know, we know, Lord, you have something planned, great plan for him. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, Nathan, we'll ask you to stand. We have a couple things that we'd like to provide for you. It's a Bible presented to you on behalf of the church, as well as a certificate. A certificate. And uh, here's a little three-minute devotion, guys, for guys provided through Kelsey's Missions, which many people here at the church help support. God bless, and let's again welcome Nathan into our church family today, the family of God. God bless you, Nathan.